Our aim with this work was to review the outcomes of men on actor surveillance in a single large academic center. In our cohort, we had about 568 patients with a median age of 63.5 and follow-up of 69.6 months. So actually closer to six years than five. We went with a minimum of five-year cutoff just to see what the follow-up will be like. Results that we got based on interval year of diagnosis, we saw that actually people enrolled in active surveillance were more likely to stay on active surveillance later on in the years. So if you looked at 91 to 99 versus 2000 to 2004, 2004 to 2009, uh, what we saw is that adherence to active surveillance actually increased. So either people were becoming more comfortable with the idea of active surveillance or physicians were more likely to recommend to maintain active surveillance as a treatment option for the patient. The cumulative discontinuation within the population that we looked at for the first five years was about 32% for any reason. So this being people going on to treatment or just failure to follow up. So they may have been lost to follow up, so we don't know what happened to them. But the good news is, is that from the patients that we did follow up, the mortality rate was very, very low. We only had two prostate cancer related deaths out of 568 patients, which is quite uh, encouraging. We looked at the patients that discontinued and we looked at what were the predictors of discontinuation and what we saw was that actually grade progression was quite significantly predictive of discontinuation of active surveillance. With five-year follow-up evidence that we have with this study, we demonstrate that men who meet the active surveillance criteria, it's a safe strategy for them to maintain for their prostate cancer treatment option because within five-year follow-up, like I said, the mortality rate was quite low and progression rate was also quite low. When we looked at the patients that actually went on to have treatment, whether or not they progressed prior to going on to treatment or whether or not they didn't. So we had 143 patients who went on to treatment, 86 of whom had an RP. So when we reviewed the results of the RP, we saw that patients who progressed versus patients who didn't progress didn't have difference in outcomes. So their clinical stage of their disease was the same, their biochemical recurrence rate was the same. So whether or not they progressed or whether or not they didn't and they went on to have an RP, their results were the same. So again, that kind of reassured us that active surveillance is in fact a safe strategy for men who meet the active surveillance criteria set by Princess Margaret Hospital, which also correlates with the MSK criteria. When considering factors that influence discontinuation, one should look at grade progression as we did and we saw that it was significantly predictive.